as I explained before, I am an investment coward. I don't take any chances. Here's my return as I showed you in the previous videos. Since 1983, average return on one of my brokerage accounts was 826. 8.26%. Well, you might say, well, that's not a lot. Come on. You can't get wealthy at 8.26% average. But somehow I have managed to accumulate a million dollars. Starting with $15,000 back around this time. So that puny 8.26%, well, wait a minute. What's 8.26% of a million dollars? Well, that's uh, $82,600 per year without spending the principal to receive $82,600 a year. And then you add my $20,000 from Social Security, that brings it to over $100,000 a year annual income, if I wanted to do this. I'm not taking that kind of income. But if I wanted to, I could do that. You could say, oh, there's a lot of people in retirement making a lot more money than $100,000 a year. Uh, uh, police officers, firefighters, retired, some of them in California making two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars a year. Yes, they beat me. But the difference between myself and them is that their money is always at risk. They're on pensions. Pensions are threatening to be cut. So what they have above me may not last very, or may not be available very long in the future. So if I wanted to, I could take over a hundred thousand dollars a year, but I don't. I don't spend that kind of money. I spend uh, maybe fifty thousand, less than fifty thousand a year, as a investing coward. So what do I do with that other 50000 or 40000 Well, I just let it sit there and grow. And that's why the portfolio grows for an investing coward.